I don't know if you can see it through the uh, GoPro, but uh, we notice a nice reef that comes up and it goes down and comes up to another little part. But since it's getting low light, um, which is, it's 5.30 now and the, light, the sun's still pretty high. Oh, there's a hit. Freeze pull, let it fall. Because they're waiting for that fall because they think they're hurting the, the bait fish to eat it. So always remember, when you get hit and you don't get a connection, let that bait flutter back down and that's how you convert them. But uh, we're coming up here off this long reef and since the wind's banking against it and stuff, it's just a perfect combination for uh, big fish and uh, multiple fish right now. Here's another hit. I'm gonna free flow it a little bit. Click it over, adjust the speed. See those marks right there, guys? So what we're doing is I'm about 30 seconds past behind those marks at about a speed like this. So that's 30 feet deep. I'm gonna run it up and something like that with this much visibility in the water and stuff and 30 foot, very easily these fish can come up to it, but you wanna tease them too. So we're gonna get up here and right about here, I'm gonna really slow this motor down. I'm gonna take it out of gear and I'm gonna let that bait flutter over those two big fish down there. And if, if I can, if I can keep the boat straight without the wind blowing the, the bow left and right, I'm gonna let it go down to the bottom. Okay, so I've, I've got a good maybe 15, 20 second count on that. Speed it up, act like it just got, oh, hey, I'm okay, it starts taking off. And then that's when you just get clocked. You start screaming, oh, like that, right there. Like there, just like that, guys. Just like that. So that was a move that we uh, counted back. Pressure on this so I could take this out of gear. Keep the line tight. That was a cool, that was a cool move. You know what's scary is sometimes I actually think I know what I'm talking about, Derek. Nice, pretty red. Look at that thing, man. Nice. Boom. There you go, bud. That's how you guys read graphs, man. That's how you read a graph and know your count back, how far your bait is behind the boat. Understand what your lure's doing on the flutter and the fall and what, what kind of illusion you're trying to create for these fish. And uh, when you're able to do that, man, special stuff can happen. So we're gonna set that back up. 20 foot, see there's fish right there. Now right now, look at those fish right there. They're big ones, right? Those are mongos. I'm not even gonna turn off the camera. I'm letting the bait fall right now, right on top of them. Not even just, I'm just letting that bait go down to the bottom. And when I get out here just a little way, so I got a good angle, I'm gonna slow it down, the boat down, and I'm gonna make sure that bait hits the bottom. And I'm ready, if, if that bait flitters or pops or something okay so it's on the bottom right now now I'm gonna turn around you gotta be right. I'm gonna start moving that thing right right through those fish try to create a react oh there he oh got him god he hit it I'm gonna let it fall back oh I had one of those things whack it man oh darn it but that's what you're looking for understanding that was a good fish, man. That was those were those were the ones we we're looking for. That was Mongo Gongo. Oh.